Go. Hi everybody, it's Miss Rusty with today's wonderfully fun science activity. We're going to take a break from our nature observations and see about sinking and floating. And we've been doing apples this month, so I thought we would do apples sink and float. So is it going to sink or is it going to float? <laughs> Are you ready to find out? Let's see. Sink or float? Oh no! I don't have any water in here. That's okay. I got water right here. So at home, you're going to need to find a container. It doesn't have to be clear. And you're going to need to fill it up with a lot of water. More? All right. More? Tell me when. Tell me when. All right. I think that's enough, don't you? Good job. Thank you. All right. Now. We're going to see what sinks and floats. I have a variety of apples and vegetables and fruits and some leaves and some other stuff. But first, we're going to do apples. So, the first apple we have is a mutsu apple. It comes from the mountains of North Carolina and I bought it in Kentucky. So look, it has dots all over it because it's kind of old. I need to eat it. Are you ready? Sink or float? And it floats! Woohoo! Alright, so we're going to put the float, the things that float, on this side. I'm going to move this over because the things that sink are going to be on this side. And let me know if this gets foggy. My daughter, Avery Marie, is my camera person today. She'll have to let me know too because I can't see on this side. Here is a beautiful, lovely, sweet, and crisp and crunchy red delicious apple. Sink or float? Sink. Oh, she says sink. Let's find out. And it floats. It's a floating red apple. These make good bobbing apples. If one floats, the others float. Look at here. I have two apples. They're about the same size. Well, this one's a little bit bigger. This one is a honey crisp. And this one is a ginger gold. It's like a yellow apple. Do you think these apples are going to sink or float? Let's find out. Whoa, they are floating. And did you know that there's a game called Bobbing for Apples? So if you have an apple with a really long stem, you can do this. I can't do it. I did it! <laughs> you might be able to bob for apples. Just make sure your water's a little bit cleaner than mine. <laughs> Here's another apple. This one's a Fuji. It's a little bit denser and heavier, and they're usually juicier. Sink or float? Let's find out. Oh. And it floats! <laughs> All right, and here is a super sour Granny Smith apple, and they are so so the milk of my fault. This is how I say I could eat no this. I'm not going to take a bite of it. Sink or float? it floats. So even if it's a sweet apple or a sour apple, a big apple or a small apple, they float. So all the apples are the all same the size. All the apples are floating. Did you hear Avery? She said all the apples float. No, they're all the same size. Look. Look at this apple. That's not an apple. That's not an apple. It's a nectarine. Mmm. Has a skin like a plum. So you took all my fruit. Where's my plum? My plum is missing. Here's a plum. See? Avery's like, those are my fruit, Mom. Don't damage them. I'm not going to damage the fruit. They're just going to get washed. Mm -hmm. So look, I have a nectarine and I have a plum. Sink or float? Let's find out. Ready? Look at that. The plum went all the way to the bottom. And the nectarine is floating on top. All right. Now I have a green lime and a green pepper with a leaf stuck on it. We'll do the leaf in a minute. Do you think one's going to sink and one's going to float? You think this one's going to sink? It does feel harder. This is kind of squishy. It has little seeds and a lot of air inside of a green pepper. And this has a lot of fruit. So let's see, sink or float? You think they're going to both sink? Well, let's find out. Well, look at that. They float. So limes float and green peppers float. All right, now I have two foggy. gourds. 
foggy. Oh, Avery's telling me it's getting foggy. Thank you. It's on your side that's foggy or it's the strainer. Look, we have a gooseneck squash. And we have a giant zucchini. These are from our garden. One day we'll eat them. Sink or float? We're going to do this one first. Sink or float? Let's see. The gooseneck squash floats. Check this one out. This is huge. Does that even fit? It's the size of my forearm. Avery wants to know it fits. Oh, I can't put it in this way because it won't fit, but if I put it at a diagonal and it floats because look, I can push it down so I know it fits and it floats. That end, that end stops it. Well, nope, it floats. Ow. <laughs> Avery was trying to say, nope, it doesn't. So all of these float. Now, I have a giant leaf and I have a little leaf. So if you don't have apples and fruit at home to test, you have a banana. Oh, you'll have to let us know if that sinks or floats. But check this out. You could go outside and you can find some leaves. This is a calla lily leaf. And this is a black walnut leaf. Now, are they going to sink or float? You think it's, this one's going to sink because it's so big and this one's going to float? Well, let's do the little one first. You were right. The little leaf floats. Now, this leaf is so big, I'm going to fold it up like this and stick it all the way in the water. And look at that, it came up. I just drop it on the water, it's kind of hard to see if it floats. I'm going to break the stem off. Good about it. it still floats. So even the big leaf floats. And I have a marigold. Pretty little flower. Sink or float. Sink or float? Sink. Harry said sink. I don't know. Where did you get a marigold it from? It floats. Everyone wants to know where I got a marigold from. I have a marigold pot of flowers down on my step. They're still blooming. Pretty cool. Isn't that a pretty red color? Mine died the first week I had it. Oh, yeah. Avery didn't water hers very well. Check out this aluminum foil. Like what you put around potatoes. Sink or float? Let's see. It floats. So far, we've had a lot of things float and one thing sink. Now, behind me, I have a bunch of different stuff. And I don't even know where to begin. I'm going to put it in my basket so we can look and see. I have some crayons, some toys, a piece of wood, a paintbrush, a pencil, a craft stick, or another rock, a bottle cap a cube, a dinosaur, some bears, a seashell, a bigger seashell. A bigger rock, two bottles, a paper clip, oh, the bottle's trying to get away, and a can of seltzer water. So, hmm, this is where it gets tricky, because this is what you could do at home. It's the other Because if side. you don't have a fruit, and if you don't have any apples or bananas or vegetables or anything you want to do it, do in the water to see if it sinks or floats, you can go outside and get sticks and leaves or go around your house and find some mystery stuff that you don't know if it sinks or floats. Because look at but make sure it can get wet. And make sure it can get wet because you don't want to put the TV remote control in the water. It won't float. It won't sink. It'll just break and not work anymore. That's no fun. Now, back to sink or float. We have a full bottle of water. Never been opened, never been drank. Full bottle of water. Empty bottle of water, nothing in there. See, look, it's so empty, nothing comes out. Which one is going to sink? The empty one. Oh, Avery says the empty one. How can the empty one sink when it has a bottle cap on it? Ah, oh, see, Avery's thinking if it took the bottle cap off, it would sink. No, I said it would float. Right. Oh, she says it's going to float. I don't know. What about this one? Is it going to sink or float? Let's find out. Sink. What's it doing? It's partially floating and partially sinking. Is that the full one? That was the full one. Here's the empty one. And what's going to happen when I put the empty one in? I'll leave the full one in there. Wow, look at that. The empty one floats on top of and the that's water why you don't like litter. a boat. And that's why yeah, you don't I got to make litter. sure I put this in the trash. Baby Marie's telling me don't litter. She's right. We don't want to litter. We want to throw it away. You should recycle it. Now watch. If I take my water bottle and I have it 
with the lid off and I drop it in there with the open side down, is it going to sink or float? Sink. Avery says it's going to sink. Like all of it. Do you see the bubbles coming out? I have to hold it down to get the water in it. As the water goes in, it's still going to float. Isn't that interesting? Now, <laughs> here's a fun thing I've never done before. I like to press my water bottles up into a little tight ball. It's still Put the, the lid back on. Avery says it's going to still float. And that's let's not see. Drop it and float. It still floats. My goodness. I'll have to make sure I throw that away. But these float. So we're going to set them over here on this side. Now, the next one. A can of soda, and it's full, sink or float. Avery says it's going to sink. It partially floats. It goes all the way to the bottom, and it comes back up. Look at that. Isn't that funny? I'm not going to try to bob for a can of, of, of water. That wouldn't be any fun. That might hurt. People do it. Yeah, people do it. But I'm going to set that back there because I'm running out of room. So on this chair, I'm going to put all our floating stuff. And on that chair, I'll put all our sinking stuff. So far, we have one thing that sinks. Now, I have two seashells. This is a conch shell. And conch shells are really cool because if you put them up to your ear, you can hear the ocean. Oh, I gotta wake up. I love going to the beach. I can sleep all day by the ocean water. And this is a little clam shell. Sink or float. Avery says sink, let's see. Oh, that went all the way down. And here goes the conch shell. It went all the way down too. Which actually makes sense because the animals that lived inside these, whoa, did you see that water come out? That lived inside the conch shell is a giant snail. And this would have been like a mussel, like a no. oyster or a clam. And because they live in water, their shells protect them. And if their shells floated along, then that wouldn't protect them very well from seagulls, would it? So they have to sink. We'll put them over here. Now I have a pencil and a paintbrush. Yes, this is Avery's paintbrush. See, she's looking at me like, what? Where'd you find that at? I found it in the kitchen. Anyhow, do you think the pencil and the paintbrush are going to sink and float? Now Avery probably knows the answer to this because it is her paintbrush, but this is my pencil. You have a pencil like that? No way. See, you could use that to use for sink or float. And you do have a paintbrush. Whoa, I wonder if yours is going to do the same as this one. Let's see. Here it goes. Sink. It floats. The pencil? Sink. Oh, they float. Yay. That pencil will never write again. All right. There's two items. Now, you guys probably got craft sticks that look like this that are flat. Tongue depressors. Tongue depressors. Tongue depressors. Because the doctor's office uses them to put your tongue down. 